Well, throughout the day today, it has been dry. Just a few clouds up there in our sky, but that will be changing as we head into the day tomorrow. Tomorrow being a weather aware day. We're tracking that potential for a few storms to become strong and even severe. But first, we're going to take that live look at the Bull River. You can see that cloud cover off in the distance. Camera also shaking a little bit as well. Winds have started to pick up this afternoon. I'll show that in just a moment. But temperature wise here across the coastal empire and low country, upper 70s to lower 80s. 80s mainly for our inland areas, 80 in Glenville, 81 in Alma. Looks like we're only in the upper 70s for us here in Savannah. We do have that southeasterly flow bringing in those uh, uh, warmer temperatures to the region, and that will continue as we head throughout the day tomorrow, fueling our uh, chances for showers and storms. But wind gusts across the region, gusting to 25 here in Savannah, 21 for Richmond Hill, 16 at the moment in Rinkin. We do have a wind advisory in play for all these areas shaded in blue. That goes through 8 p.m. tomorrow, and we could see gusts upwards of 40 miles per hour possible with this system. Off to the west, as it moves its way into our area, we could see some strong to severe storms. We do also have a low end risk a non-zero chance uh, for tornadoes as well. But going through the next couple of hours, again, staying mostly cloudy. Temperatures mild overnight will be in the upper 60s for those lows. And then as we head into the day tomorrow, again, we're tracking that cold front that's going to swing through the region and give us that potential for some severe storms. The main threats will be damaging wind. We could see gusts over 40 miles per hour and localized heavy rainfall as well, especially in some of those uh, heavier thunderstorms could see one, maybe two inches of rain that could lead to some ponding on the roadway. So here's breaking down our, th our threats a little bit further. Again, wind will be the highest of concerns. We do have that low end risk for a tornado. It is a non zero chance, but just on the lower end of our scale. Also a low end risk for some hail and then medium for that heavy rainfall could see again upwards of one to two inches. So timing things out as we head into the morning hours around eight, nine o'clock, we're going to start to see some of those heavier downpours of rain start to move its way through and become more widespread as we head later and later on into the morning. Winds will be very gusty as this main line moves its way through and very heavy rain. And we could see some very discrete cells. Those will be the ones we'll be tracking to see that potential for some tornado development. Looks like as we head into the early afternoon, though, still seeing that chance for showers and storms, mainly for the coastal areas. And then as we head later and later on uh, through the afternoon and into the evening, we're going to start to dry out. Maybe a few lingering showers on the backside as we head into the early evening, but overall we'll start that drying out trend as we head into your day on Friday. But at least for tonight, we'll be down into the 60s. Storms will be possible very late uh, overnight tonight. I would say past midnight for the uh, most likely for some of those showers and storms to arrive. But then for the day tomorrow, those storms will become widespread and likely mainly for the morning hours. We could see wind gusts over 35, maybe even 40 miles per hour. Wouldn't be uh, wouldn't surprise me either to see even higher wind gusts in some of those heavier thunderstorms. But here's that marine forecast. Seas around five to eight feet, small craft advisories are in effect out there, so it will not be a great day tomorrow on the water. So again, weather aware day for your Thursday. Drying out those we head into Friday and really throughout much of the next seven days. We just got to get through tomorrow. Edward again, yeah. make sure you have a way to receive alerts for tomorrow. Well, sure. Stay with us on air yes. online. Download that weather WSAB now app. weather now app yes. for sure. All right. Thank you, Brian. Well, if you love plants,